Hello everyone, this is Khalid from thegeekproject.com In today's podcast presentation, I'll be going over the steps for establishing a run as command while logged in in as the current user. That basically would help support personnel to perform their job with minimal user interruption. Uh, as an example, dealing with a user that has minimum GPO levels assigned to his account, the support personnel that try to help the user and change basic configuration, for example, like go to manage or GP edit, um, just to run any admin right, could be an issue if user don't have that permission to the directory itself or to the resource. To avoid using different applications and programs, just to by bypass that issue, Windows have a built-in tool that would help the support personnel to run the Explorer shell using their credentials. Uh, just to give you an overview, an example for what I'm using, um, over here on my Windows XP, I'm running uh, as a virtual mode. I have the test user and my domain, I do not have a domain at the moment, I'm running on my uh, hostname account. So to check what domain you're part of, it would be your register to Khalid home. So my domain would be home over here. Uh, going into different steps just to confirm how are we going to run this and for people that did not get the point until now, let's say I am logged in as a test, I call the help desk to get some help uh, configuring my network adapter. If basically the support personnel you know, trying to help you, ask you to go to the computer manage for example, we can go there, but to modify anything under device manager such as check or reset your network adapter, check settings, update the driver, once you go in here you're gonna get this error. Basically, you do not have the sufficient security privileges to uninstall devices, for, you know, for an example. But if you're logged in with your admin rights, that which is the support personnel account, you'll be able to go over that issue with no problems and fix it. Uh, to run the command, basically, we will have to perform a couple steps. It won't take that long for people that know how to run CMDs, how to access log files, system 32, have good experience working with Windows, that will take you five minutes to get hold of. Um, in a real world scenario where you have to use that command using you know a different um, domain, different username, you'd have to put your domain and then backslash your username, which I'll show you in a second. So first of all, we're going to start with run as, and as you see on the bottom, it's showing what I've used before. Uh, we're going to use forward slash u, that stands for user, semicolon, and we're going to use the domain. So my domain in this situation will be home, but for example, it can be a corporate domain, such as contoso.com, which is an example, backslash your admin, the support personnel admin account. I'm logged in right now as test, but I'm going to use my admin account without even logging off my test account. So I'll be logged in using both. Admin, space, rotation, explorer, space, forward slash, separate rotations. This is the full command. If there's anything wrong, you will not see the CMD window that will come up next to run that. If you're missing anything, and just to let you know, if I didn't mention that already, this will not run with IE6. This will only run with IE8. And this will not run with Windows Vista or Windows 7. I will create another video on how to run admin rights using Vista and Windows 7. Click OK. This will ask you for your password. Always note that you have the right domain and the right username. You know, type in the password. Once you type in, it's not going to show anything is being typed. So you just type it, click enter. If it's right, it's going to open that explorer window. Now this explorer window is not the rights and the user privileges that you're using on that test window. Uh, basically, we are going to go into a different example. Once you log in, if it's the first time you log into that, you're going to create that profile right now. 
see this is the original profile I'm logged into this is my profile my main profile this is the admin profile I just created so we are going to go to my computer manage on the test account we were not able to go to device manager right now with my admin account we will be able to go to the device manager local settings change services stop services restart services and use our normal admin rights help the user once you're done you close all your windows you make sure you close this one because if you leave it open the user will have access to your admin rights and if you have access over network places they can go and try to access basically just type in the network path over here for example 9.88 and go into that do some changes and they'll be using your account make sure you close that and even if they you don't have to worry about this being here because once they click OK it's going to ask them for your password uh, basically this is how the run as command work uh, if you have any questions please feel free to post the comments or go check out the website thegeekproject.com for the latest security updates and cyber defense mechanism uh, my name is Khalid thanks for watching and I will see you soon thanks